Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel. Let's talk about lips. Now I have a few problems going on with mine. First off, like most women my age, I'm almost 55, I have some fine lip lines around the uh, lips and of course on the top of my lips, the actual lip, they're not as smooth as they once were or as plump. And then also a problem that's plagued me my entire life is that lipstick doesn't look the same on me as it does on other people because my lips are very purple. So when I put on, say, a nude lipstick, it'll look very different than it looks in the tube or different than I see it on other people. Well, I've had several of you write to me and say, how do you keep your lipstick out of the lip lines? And so several months ago, I went on a search for a great product. I have tried so many lip primers, I cannot even tell you, but I actually found something that works. And it's from Sigma, and I bought this myself. It's called Lose the Halo Lip Concealer. Now, it's very much like a foundation, which you might say, why don't you just put foundation on your lips? But foundation can be very drying. So I prefer this. This is meant to go on the lips. It doesn't have thiolates, parabens, and it just gives me a look that allows the lipstick to look its true color. Also, I didn't think it would do this, but it does. It sort of fills your lip lines like spackle would. So I noticed after I started wearing it, hey, I'm not seeing those lip lines anymore. So that was a bonus I had not expected because they don't promote the product to eliminate lip lines. So I think this is an amazing product for mature women. Now, I would like to show you today how to apply it and how to get your lips to look their absolute best. The first important step before you do anything is exfoliate your lips. I like to use honey and sugar and I just mix it. I put it on and take my finger and exfoliate, wipe it off. I also like honey to plump my lips. I'll just put honey on my lips before bed and you'll wake up and they'll feel amazing. Now I want to show you how I apply the Loose the Halo. I'm using this detailed lip brush from Sigma and just tapping into the product. And I'm going to go a little above my lip because I want to fill in uh, the lip lines and also I'm going to make my lips look a little larger by doing this. So one thing I will say is make sure you let this dry before you apply lipstick. Don't just put it on and then apply your lipstick because it'll blend. The product will blend and you'll just get a creamier color, a paler color of your lipstick or shade. So I'm just going to go in and fill in my entire lip and then go in here. Now, some people like to go way into the corner of the mouth. I don't, I tend to think it makes the lips droop a little bit. Younger women can do that very easily. I'm going to take my finger and just sort of pull down and make sure it's all spread out beautifully. I blended the lip halo a little bit more and gave it a couple of minutes to dry. You will see as it dries down, it sort of changes uh, from being so creamy to a little bit drier. I've been using this for several months and it is not drying on my lips at all. I'm sure that would be a concern for most women and it doesn't seem to dry my lips at least out at all. Now I'm ready to go in with my lipstick. I have found I just love this line from Rimmel. It's the Kate line that they have. They had this for a long time. I'm sure you recognize the packaging. This is number 47, and I'm also gonna use number 41 in the center part of the lip to make it look larger. This is very inexpensive, and I just love this entire line. You may already have it at home. Instead of using a lip liner, I want this look to look maybe a little more natural. I'm using this precision lip line brush with the lipstick. So that way I can use, the nice thing about the brush is you can use it on any lipstick so you don't have to have a bunch of lip liner. So I'm just applying some product. Another thing I want to say about using lip brushes is that when you're a mature woman, you have more lines in your lips and I think caking the lipstick on too thick makes our lips look even older. So getting a nice thin coat of lipstick on will make your lips look a little more youthful. So right now I'm going in with the 
brush and I'm going just a little above my lip line, sort of on the ridge, on top of the ridge of my lip. And what I'm going to do is take the brush and sort of pull down from the line that I've made to start blending. I'm going to keep uh, this number 47, the deeper shade, more on the outside of my lips and the 41 on the center to brighten things up. So I filled in the outer portion and around the lip. And again, I went a little above the ridge. You could do that with a lip liner. I'm just doing it today with lipstick with my brush. And now I'm gonna go into the 41 uh, Rimmel Cake lipstick. This is a very light shade and I'm gonna do it right in the part where you can still see the lip halo. And this is going to give me just a fuller looking lip. Marilyn Monroe, when they did her lips, they used to use five different shades of lipstick. So when you use various shades, you get a, a more dimensional look and just it really adds to the uh, look and the fullness of the lip. I'm really happy right now because I like this look. I don't see those pesky lip lines and my lips look a lot smoother and more youthful. So I hope you found this helpful. I have a giveaway. I was over at Marshall's and found one of my favorites for my skin. This is a gentle exfoliator. This company, Lorac, makes some really nice products. Every once in a while, they pop up at Marshall's. If you're interested somewhere in the comments, if you'll write exfoliator, then I'll know that you would like to be in the drawing for these. Thanks so much for watching.